Regardless where you fall into the Firecat user category, it's important to understand the circumstances in which the Firecat combustor may not perform correctly or at max capacity. Here's industry expert Tim Cork to explain. Let's look at a couple conditions where the catalyst might struggle to do its job. One might be plugging, and there's two types of plugging. There's creosote plugging and there's fly ash plugging. Fly ash plugging is usually caused by burning large amounts of materials that will cause a lot of char, such as paper and cardboard. Creosote plugging, however, is caused by closing the stove's bypass too quickly. And when you do this, the catalyst is not lit yet, and then the cells will become plugged with the creosote. Another reason that the combustor could become plugged is because you're refueling with wood that has moisture on it or in it. This will cause the catalyst to shut down, causing the cells to become plugged with fly ash or creosote. Another condition might be masking. Masking is caused when you burn materials in the stove that are not designed for burning in the stove, such as rubber, plastic, glue, painted wood, paneling, or petroleum products. All of these conditions will put a masking on the catalytic converter and not allow it to operate properly. Normally the catalyst works at such high operating temperatures that little or no maintenance is needed on the catalyst. The catalyst itself, once it's burnt the first time or lights off the first time, it'll have a light gray powdery appearance to it. However, if the catalyst does become masked or clogged with the soot or fly ash, simply take a soft bristle brush like a paintbrush and dust the surface off. If the cells are clogged with fly ash, simply take a Q-tip, a uh, soft bristle pipe cleaner, for example, and run it through the cells. This will free any of the debris in there. Then when the catalyst lights off, it'll burn off any remaining substance left on the combustor. You can also use a shop vac or the house vacuum cleaner to run over the surface of the catalyst to remove or suck out any of the debris that may be collected in the cells or on the surface. Should the combustor become masked with soot or creosote, it is possible to burn the accumulation off by opening the bypass and building a hot fire. Once the hot fire is created, close the bypass halfway and burn for 30 to 60 minutes. Never use anything abrasive to clean the catalytic converter. Never use high pressured air on the catalyst. High pressured air can destroy the cell walls. Never use cleaning solvents on the catalyst to clean it. Never use detergents to clean the catalyst. It might be wise to check the catalytic combustor in your stove before each burning season. This could help prevent flue fires. Let's look at why the combustor might need to be replaced. Thermal shock is basically refueling the stove with wet or damp wood. This sends moisture to the catalyst. The catalyst is shut down immediately. This is a thermal shock and will result in cracking of the catalyst. Mechanical cracking is usually caused by abuse to the catalyst. And when I say abuse, I'm talking about dropping the catalyst or beating on it to try to get it out of its holding device. Direct flame impingement is caused by an overdraft in the stove. Usually this will pull flames up into the catalyst, around the flame shield, and into the catalyst. Some reasons or some examples of this might be operating the stove with the door ajar, the firebox door is open, ash pan may be ajar, or perhaps the gasketing around the door is not sealing the door tight. The air intakes to the stove may be open wide. Poisoning is caused basically by burning foreign matter in the stove. The stove is designed to burn seasoned dried wood only. If you burn glues, plastic, rubber, things like that, that will eventually poison the catalyst. It doesn't happen immediately, but over a period of time, the catalyst will gradually lose efficiency. What guarantee does the consumer have that the catalyst in the stove is going to last for a period of time? One is the warranty that Applied Ceramics furnishes with every wood-burning appliance that is sold out there. We have our six-year prorated warranty in there. This warranty guarantees the customer that we will give you a free replacement if anything happens to the combustor within that three-year period. 
Then we put an additional three years on with special prorated prices. This is our guarantee to you that the catalyst is going to last a minimum of 10,000 burning hours. This is great information to both explain and understand the entire workings of the wood burning appliance. To troubleshoot any issues you may have, head to the next segment. Thanks for watching.